Welcome to Channel 6 News. With lead anchor Alex Lee and co-anchor Tony Yuen. Tonight's top story, a hurricane bags the East Coast, killing over 1,800 people and leaving thousands homeless. Good evening, I'm Alex Lee and thank you for joining us today. Hello, and I'm Tony Yuen. We have just received news from the Mexican district telling us a classified category 5 storm has just hit the coast of New Mexico. One of the biggest storms to hit the coast in decades. Signs, trees, houses, and even large buildings were aggressively ripped apart when they were hit by winds peaking over 155 miles per hour. We now go live to our on-scene reporter, Del Monte Fernandez. Del, how's it down there, Del? It's not bad, Alex. It's not bad. As you can see behind me, oh, the aftermath of the storm. People living in this, around this area has already evacuated, but those who are unfortunate caught in the heat of the storm were, were faced severe injuries and even death. Are any rescue workers for the people who were caught in the storm? Yes, Alex. It seems like the Red Cross has come with rescue trucks and even helicopters. The, the rescue dogs has come to find the missing people. Oh my, Alex, it looks like the storms are starting to pick him up. Be okay down there, Dale. No problem, Alex, just a little. Oh. He's okay, folks. He's okay. We have received a story from the local survivor of the catastrophic hurricane. We now go live to our on scene reporter, Mario Francisco. Thanks, Tony. Today we have witnessed many sufferings, poverty, famine, and even death. We have here a survivor from the tragic hurricane. Tell us about your story. So there I was at a local food stand. That's when it all happened. First the signs on the street corners were rattling violently and I dropped my taco. Thank you sir. Heavy rains began to pick up and so I seek shelter. Just about the time I entered my house, the wind commenced and my roof was first to go. Objects were blown over as the wind easily led into my house. Soon after, I was found unconscious under fallen debris. And that's when I was brought here. Thank you. Truly, very interesting. We have here a local Red Cross worker. Okay, we found him inside a small building and doesn't look too good for the locals. Hopefully, they have found a safe shelter and with wind seeking up to 155 miles per hour, I don't think anyone would survive. All we can do is hope for the best. So why aren't you going to help them right now? Well, the hurricane was not only the factor of the situation, the hurricane also triggered a large mudslide in Manitoulin, claiming more than 800 victims. Our workers can't get up there due to the mudslides that have covered a large area cover a large amount of venomous snakes and scorpions, putting a hundred lives in danger. With the Red Cross workers on the job, things are surely on the way. As for the families, friends, and neighbors who are still missing, tonight we'll pray. Thank you. Once again, I'm Mario Francisco, reporting live from Chihuahuan, Mexico. Back to you, Alex. We now show you details of the monstrous hurricane. As you can see, the white area of the line is where it started as a Category 1 hurricane on October 23rd as it moved across the waters. It then moved northwest to the eastern Pacific where it intensified to a Category 4 hurricane on October 25th. It then moved further northwest to reach a devastating Category 5 hurricane smashing into Manzanillo on the coast of Mexico, which is the red area. It then weakened fast as it passed central Mexico, which is the light blue area. We have just received news from the Red Cross expanding on the damage. It's, it's a sum up of an approximate $24 million US in cost of the damage. On further news, a local serial killer is on the loose. He has been identified by the police as a black haired male Asian with glasses and was last seen in Richmond. They say that he is about between 5'6 and 5'7. And if you have any information about this man, please contact the number below. We now show you a current picture of him. What?
We have just received a news report on on the from the Red Cross. On <laughs> received news from the Red Cross. Okay, so what I do when I I'm supposed to go like um um. Damn! No! <laughs> Fuck! Just in, we have received a story from a local survivor of the catastrophic hurricane. We now go to our on-scene reporter, Mario Fernandez. Received news from the Red. Just received news from the Red Cross, explaining the damage. It sums up to approximately 25. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Alex is like trouble. We have received story from. The survivor. Of the <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what to say. In we have received story from our, from from. So <laughs> up there. I didn't do anything. We have just received a news report on on the from the Red Cross. On <laughs> okay, mostly you. Okay, thank you.